Do mayhem modifiers work as intended in Borderlands 3? And if they do, then how do they work with each other? Because there's a lot of different combinations that can dramatically affect your build. Let's find out. So for this, I did a bunch of tests with my good pal Shiv and looked at every gun damage modifier you can get. I haven't looked at grenade damage, cooldown rate, anything like that. We're going to be focusing specifically on the things that will impact your gun damage. For this, I have no class mod or artifact equipped and am not specced into any skills. We're going to start off with no gun damage bonuses from Guardian rank, and then after a bit, we'll look at how it works with the modifiers. The first test will have minus 20% damage with all guns, 50% less damage for pistols, SMGs, and shotguns, 50% additional damage to assault rifles and sniper rifles, and I didn't test the radiation penalty here, but we will see that later on. We're starting off with this non-elemental splainer, and we do 277 damage. Now the splainer has a base damage of 693. We're going to multiply 693 by 0.8 for the minus 20% damage with all guns and 0.5 for the minus 50% damage with pistols and we get exactly 277. Next we'll look at the companion. It has a base damage of 1053. So we're going to multiply 1053 by 0.8 and 0.5 like with the splainer, but fire gets a damage bonus of 75% on flesh in TBHM. So we multiply everything by 1.75 and get 737. Now we're going to look at a Shock Chaos, which has a base damage of 377. So 377 times 0.8 times 1.5 for the 50% bonus to Assault Rifles, then multiply that by 0.65 because Shock receives a 35% damage penalty in TBHM against Flesh, and we get 294. So far, everything has been multiplicative with each other. Here's some new modifiers. Really, it's just 25% additional gun damage. But this one's not actually right. We'll use the Splainer here. The base damage of 693 times 1.25 is 866, which is obviously not right. Instead, this is actually a 35% damage buff. 693 times 1.35 is 936. Next, we're going to look at negative 20% gun damage, 45% additional normal bullet damage, and then 35% less damage for normal bullets and 70% additional elemental damage. We're going to start off with the Splainer again. It does 523 damage. To get there, we're going to multiply 693 times 0.8 for the negative 20% gun damage, then by 1.45 for 45% additional normal bullet damage, then 0.65 for the 35% normal damage penalty, giving us 523. Next, we'll look at the companion with the same modifiers. It does 2211 for one shot. To get there, we're going to multiply 1053, which is the base damage, by 0.8 for the 20% gun damage penalty, then 1.75 for the fire damage bonus on flesh, and then 1.7 for the 70% additional elemental damage. This gives us 2506, which isn't right. Turns out the 70% additional elemental damage is actually 50%, not 70. Using 50%, we get 2211. We'll show this again with the Chaos. We're going to do 294 damage, which we get by multiplying 377 by 0.8, then 0.65 for the 35% shock penalty on flesh, then by 1.5 instead of 1.7 for the bonus elemental damage. Next set, we're going to have negative 50% assault rifle damage and sniper rifle damage, and then 50% bonus pistol, SMG, and shotgun damage. Then on top of that, 35% less normal damage, and then 70%, which is actually 50% elemental damage. And to top it off, crits will deal 25% less damage. First, we'll start with the splainer, and we're going to do one body shot and one crit. The body shot does 676 damage, which we get by taking 693 and multiplying it by 1.5 for the bonus pistol damage, then by 0.65 for the 35% less normal damage. Then the crit deals 1115 damage. We have a 10% crit bonus on this gun, and this is multiplicative with the double damage that the crit deals. So we're going to take 676 times 2 for the crit, times 1.1 for the 10% crit bonus, then multiply this by 0.75 because of the 25% less crit damage modifier. Next, the Companion. We have the Body Shot that deals 4146 damage, which is 1053 times 1.5 for bonus pistol damage, times 1.5 again for the bonus elemental damage, times 1.75 for the bonus from fire on flesh. Then for the Crit. This gun has 10% additional crit damage, and on top of that, Jacob's weapons receive an additional 10% crit, and these are multiplicative. So the crit will deal 7525. To get this, we'll multiply 4146 by 2, 
then by 1.1 for the weapon bonus crit damage, then 1.1 for the Jacob's bonus crit, then 0.75 for the 25% crit damage penalty. Next, we have a 45% bonus to normal damage, 50% less pistol, SMG, and shotgun damage, 50% more assault rifle and sniper rifle damage, and then enemies take 50% less damage from normal bullets. With the Splainer, we deal 251 damage, which we get by multiplying 693 by 1.45 for the bonus normal damage, 0.5 for the 50% less pistol damage, and by 0.5 again for the 50% normal damage penalty. This next one is fun. We're going to get the ever so conflicting gun specific bonuses and penalties. Now because they're multiplicative to each other, overall it's a net penalty by 25% to all weapon types except for heavy weapons. We also have 50% less damage from normal bullets and 50% less damage from shock. Again, we'll look at the splainer, which will deal 260 damage. We get this by multiplying 693 by 1.5 and 0.5 for the pistol damage bonus and penalty respectively, giving us 520 damage, then by 0.5 for the 50% less normal damage for a total of 260. We'll look at the Chaos next, which deals 92 damage, and we get there by multiplying 377 by 0.65 for the shock damage penalty on flesh, then 1.5 and 0.5 for the assault rifle damage bonus and penalty, then by 0.5 again for the shock damage penalty. Next, we'll take a look at some more elemental damage penalties. The 50% fire damage penalty will work. If we shoot a companion, we deal 1053 damage times the 1.75 modifier for fire on flesh, and then cut it in half to get 921 as shown here. Then the 50% radiation penalty. We have a star helix that deals 357 times 3 damage, which is 1071. So 1071 times the 50% damage penalty for radiation, which is 535 as shown here. We'll look at the 50% penalties to cryo and corrosive damage next. This cryo SMG here has a base damage of 287. With a 50% penalty, it deals 143 damage as shown here. And then corrosive damage. The 50% penalty does not apply. It's basically non-existent, at least in Mayhem 3. This Malawan pistol has a base damage of 706. 706 times the 35% damage penalty from corrosion on flesh gives us 459, which is exactly the damage we're dealing. The 50% corrosion damage is ignored. In case you don't believe me, we'll look at this barrage, which has a base damage of 495. The modifiers here are minus 50% assault rifle damage and 50% less corrosive damage. Each bullet deals 161 damage, which is going to be 495 times 0.65 for the 35% damage penalty corrosion gets against flesh, then times 0.5 for the 50% assault rifle damage penalty. The corrosion damage penalty is ignored. One more in case you're still a non-believer. This one has the same modifiers as the last, which includes 50% additional pistol damage. If you look carefully, this Linoge has two bullets hit shiv of the three and hits for 1128. The base damage of each projectile is 579, so 579 times 2 projectiles times 1.5 for the 50% pistol damage bonus times 0.65 for the 35% corrosive on flesh damage penalty gives you 1129. Close enough. The 50% corrosive damage penalty never applies. Now for Guardian rank, there are two things here that are going to affect your damage number. The first is obviously the passive gun damage stat, and the second will be the combo perk, which will actually increase the damage of your first bullet that hits an enemy by 2%. We'll start with these modifiers. We have minus 20% damage and a whole bunch of elemental resists. Using this cryo SMG that we looked at before, we deal 130 damage. We get this by taking the SMG's base damage of 287 and multiplying it by 0.8 for the 20% gun damage penalty, then by 50% for the cryo resistance, then by 1.1121 where the 0.1121 is the gun damage bonus from Guardian rank, and then 1.02 for the combo perk's 2% increase on the first shot. We'll look at the Corrosive Blaster next with the same modifiers. It deals 417 damage on the first shot. The base damage is 706, so we multiply this by 0.65, then 0.8 for the 20% less gun damage, then 1.1121 for Guardian rank, then 1.02 for combo to get 416. It's close enough. Now, this is where things get interesting. Here we have minus 50% AR damage and 50% additional pistol damage, along with 50% less damage from normal bullets and 25, but really 35% gun damage. So with the splainer, we will take 693 and multiply it by 0.5 from the normal damage penalty, then 1.35 for the bonus gun damage and 1.02 for the combo bonus. Then we're going to add the 11.21% to the 50% additional pistol damage. So we multiply everything 
we have so far by 1.6121 gigawatts. Just kidding about the gigawatts, but we're going to end up with 769, which is exactly what we hit for. We'll do one more example with the same modifiers. The Chaos deals 206 damage on the first shot. We're going to get there by taking the base damage 377 and multiplying it by 0.65 for the shock on flesh penalty, 1.35 for the quote unquote 25% damage bonus, then 1.02 for combo, and 1 plus 0.1121 minus 0.5 together for the pistol and guardian rank element, giving us 206. So all of the modifiers are multiplicative with each other. The 25% damage bonus to all guns works better than expected. The 70% elemental damage bonus is only 50% and corrosive damage doesn't receive any damage penalty in Mayhem 3. Guardian rank is additive with the bonuses and penalties that apply to specific guns and combo applies to the first shot. I'm not gonna show it here, but I also looked at Mayhem 2 and everything worked normally there. So it appears that just a few things on Mayhem 3 aren't working right. As for Mayhem 1, I can't say because I didn't test it. It's not much harder than playing the game without any Mayhem. Now this might all change in a future patch, especially with Mayhem 4 coming in a few days with the Malawan takedown. The important thing is how this stuff gets calculated because the numbers might be different in a year from now. See ya guys.